please introduce yourself and your role in the Internet of Things. I am Narayanan Ramanathan. They call me NR. I'm the Vice President and the Global Head for Connected Engineering and Analytics Division of Tech Mahindra. And I have close to 17 years of experience in this space. And last seven plus years, I'm with Tech Mahindra. And I'm one of the thought leaders in the IoT and the telematics region. And I'm glad to be part of this division today. Now, share, share with us, um, when was your aha moment when you really, when it really came together for you and you realized that IoT is something pretty big? That's an interesting question, Bruce. Uh, I felt it in two instances, I would like to put it. One is as a technology player, as an innovator. When we submitted our first technical test bed and that got formally accepted and approved by IAC, I felt that, wow, you know, I've been competing against a global platform, able to present an innovative idea, got an acceptance by the allied group of members who evaluated and accepted it. So that's one. But the real personal aha moment where I felt is, how can my technology help an individual or a common person to elevate their you know, life of quality of living from one orbit to another orbit? Let me quote that with an example. When we took a very simple problem of, a, say, women's safety or a healthcare division, we made a wearable gadget through which we are able to collect the vitals of a common person. Even he or she no need to step out of their home, remotely able to transfer this data to the con control and command center of a hospital, where a paramedic team can able to look into their vitals and advise them on their health being without spending more than a dollar a month. So what we actually got an aha moment is, how did we use our technology to transform a simple common man without spending an hi-fi or a high amount of money to sustain his living with his basic amenities. So we talk about health, food, safety. That is where we felt in our common. Well, NR, you, you obviously have a lot of experience here. Can you reflect back and maybe share with our viewers some best practices that you've observed and that you would recommend to them? One is very simple thing is the early part that what we understood in the IoT space is it is a system of systems. Okay. So one system enablement is not going to give you the direct benefit that what you are looking into it unless and until you are able to stitch that dots all together. So what we also learned in the journey, or I would say a piece of suggestion to the fellow members in IoT is you be clear on your requirement and there are already many tools and you know frameworks available in the market. So instead of you reinventing the wheel as part of recreating it, because our awareness is very limited. I would suggest if you can able to broaden your community of access and be aware of the systems that are available in the market, you can consume few of the products so that can be beamed in or brought in and few can be developed for the customizations and rollout. So to achieve this best practices, what we did is we defined certain frameworks, certain processes, certain tools developed as part of TechMinder. Few of them we consumed whatever is available from the market through our partner ecosystem and the alliance ecosystem and we are able to deliver value to the customer. So if I want to summarize it, unless and until you deliver or develop a product to the end consumer rather than developing for a customer will be the success mantra. Now can you share with us why did Technohindra join the Industrial Internet Consortium? Yeah. I would sum it up in two or three ways, Bruce. Number one, TechMindra as a company, IoT is not a department. Okay. If you see the TechMindra's phrase or the promotion, connected world, connected solutions. So we as a company culture has been made as an innovative and want to derive and develop and deliver the connected solutions. So the IIC theme or a vision directly synchronized with the theme or a culture of TechMindra, that is one of the first main reason that why we picked IIC. And second, uh, the, uh, the reason for IIC is we are the first Indian company who started our journey in IIC. So we want to be an early adapter so that we differentiate with our competition in this space. And the third area, most of the players who are being members in IAC when we join, they're already an existing customers with TechMindra. So the cross leverage of knowledge and being a part of the allied group is what excited TechMindra to join IAC. And how are you contributing then to the IAC? Yeah, 
there are multiple ways you know contributing let me just pick two or three for easy understanding one the testbed is one of the direct contribution where we went and declared to the world uh, how a simple problem can be solved with an innovative you know technology or a solution so we along with bosch and cisco we developed the first track and trace solution testbed and it has been officially accepted by iac that is one way of contribution to iac the second thing is we now are taking the iac standards and protocols being open to our end customers and helping them to educate how they can enable to prepare a blueprint for their entire iot journey okay so that is one way of proliferation that we are helping up the iac to put in the third way of a contribution is we are also participating actively in the steering committee and the you know groups which are in standards and definitions and we are sharing our best practices that we learned in last 20 plus years of experience in the engineering space to the audience